Welcome to Module 2, Lesson 1. Let's get started. Today we'll be learning how to explore time as a continuous measurement. We are learning this so that we can get better at telling time. We want to be able to tell time quickly in real life situations. We will know that we are successful when we can measure time in a physical quantity. Do you know what a second is? A second is a unit we use to measure time. There are 60 seconds in one minute. This is a second hand. What do you notice about the second hand? Do you see that it's red? Do you notice that it's the longest hand on the clock? What does a second feel like? How many seconds does it take to tie one shoe? What else can we measure using seconds? This might be a good time to pause the video. If you have a stopwatch, or just a regular clock, you could test it out. What does a second feel like? How many seconds does it take to tie one shoe? Think about it. Do you know what a minute is? A minute is also a unit we use to measure time. There are 60 minutes in one hour. Did you hear that? There are 60 seconds in one minute. There are 60 minutes in one hour. This is the minute hand. What do you notice about the minute hand? Do you see that it's black? Do you notice that it's not the longest hand, but it's not the shortest hand either? feel like? How many minutes does it take to do 30 toe touches? What else can we measure using minutes? Go ahead and pause the video to think about the questions or how you might answer. Okay, now it's time for our read, draw, write question. Read, draw, write is a strategy for answering word problems in which we read the question, we draw a picture to help solve the problem. This could be an array, a bar diagram, or any other math model. Sometimes the question will direct which math model you should use. Often you can choose the best one for you. Finally is W. Write the answer as a complete sentence. So we'll do the first one together. First we'll read, Carla took 16 minutes to finish her homework. Mark took 14 minutes to finish his homework. Who finished faster? Well, I think we know that 14 is less than 16, but we might want to include how much less in our answer. Okay, so we've read the question and picked out the most important information. Next we need to draw a picture. So I think I'll use a number line for my picture. So I'll click done there. And I'm going to go over to a Google Jamboard. So a Google Jamboard is just like a whiteboard. If you have a whiteboard or a piece of paper or even a Google Jamboard, you can do this part with me, but we'll do this together. 
So we want to draw a number line that starts with 14 minutes for Mark and 16 goes up to 16 minutes for Carla. So I'll just grab my pen tool and I'll draw two arrows starting with 14 for Mark. Fifteen comes after fourteen. Sixteen comes after fifteen. And so this is where I'm stopping because this is Carla's time. Now to find out how much faster Mark was than Carla, I'm going to count the jumps between the tick marks. So there's one, two jumps. So I know that Mark was two minutes faster in completing his homework than Carla. Let's go back to our question, because now it's time to write a complete sentence, and I want to use information from the question in my answer. So I want to say, Mark finished faster. How much faster? Two minutes. So going back to our Jamboard, I'm clicking on the text tool, and I'm going to type, Mark finished two minutes faster than Carla. Okay, so I have answered the question correctly, but I want to do even better. I want to be this, this to be the best answer it can be. I'm gonna now explain how I know that Mark finished two minutes faster. So I'll say, I know this, because 14 is 2 minutes less than 16, period. So there I have my answer. Alright, so there's how I would answer this question. Now it's time for you to do your own redraw right question. So here's your question. You can get out a whiteboard or a piece of paper. You can also do it on the Jamboard if that's available to you. We're going to read this together, and then you are going to independently on your own pick out the most important information, decide which math model you want to draw, and then you're going to write a complete sentence as your answer. Julie and Gary left for school at the same time. Julie got to school after 8 minutes. Gary took 13 minutes. How many minutes sooner did Julie arrive than Gary? Okay, now it's your turn. I want you to answer the question, and then you can go down to the description box below and find the answer. Good luck, and we'll see you in the next lesson.